All right, now we're going to look at an open guard sweep called hook the ankles and push. This is a very basic sweep. Everyone's seen it. Heck, you see the little kids on the playground. It's very natural, very intuitive. But let's look at making it technical and successful. So Patrick's in my closed guard. I'm doing a great job, but Patrick goes to stand up. When he stands, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to control his ankles. Now, the traditional way that I've seen to do this is I'm going to drop my hips, bring my hips below his bottom, and push away. All right? That's really great, but not one of my favorite ways to do this. I do it a little bit differently at my school. So instead of dropping our hips underneath his hips, we're going to let our hips disengage, and we're going to put our feet on the chest or the stomach. This ensures that I don't get countered, which we'll look at later, and I don't get ankle locked with my feet flat on his stomach. So from here, I'm going to push Patrick over, maintaining control of those ankles, and now I'm going to take both feet off to one side. When I take my feet off to one side, it ensures that I'm going to have a quick scramble. You can see that my bottom is sitting on his foot, gives me a little bit of control, and I'm still maintaining control of his legs on the far side. We'll see it in another angle in a second. From here, I will roll up, and I'll try to clear those legs and reverse sit. Patrick stands up. Immediately, I control the ankles. I drop my hips. I put my feet on his uh, chest. Again, my hips didn't go underneath him. They stayed disengaged a little bit, feet on the chest. Push both feet to one side. My bottom is sitting on that foot. From here, I'm going to roll up, clear those legs, and I'm still holding on to that far leg. Patrick goes to stand up. Immediately, control, drop, feet to the chest. From here, I'm going to push, I'm going to take both feet to one side, and you can see I'm still maintaining control of that leg. From here, I'm going to roll up, clear those legs, and if you want to control and lift this leg, that's fine. If you want to keep it pushed away, that's okay too. I prefer to lift it up off the ground, make sure my hips drive in nice and tight. Hook the ankles, drop, feet to the chest. Push, maintain control of the foot. My butt goes on top of this foot. Up, over, maintain control. Patrick goes to stand up, boom, hook the ankles, feet to the chest, push, both feet to one side, up, turn my hips, maintaining control. Again, make sure that your head's far enough forward and your hips are back, that he doesn't bring this hand around and try to control your head. That would be really bad, hips here. Lots of different transitions here, you want to go to mount, no problem. I prefer control the hips, and I like to walk back into an almost quasi north-south position. Uh, great, very simple, uh, very effective. Make sure you take both feet to the same side and avoid those ankle locks.